What's going on guys? This is uh, Don't Sweat the Technique and today I'm here with my friend Chris. Uh, we're about to go over a good way to get into half guard from knee shield. Uh, a lot of times people get stuck in knee shield but I find that with this method uh, here you'll be able to uh, either get the pass from knee shield or uh, get into half guard to get the pass from there. So let's get to it. So say we're, uh, we're here passing our opponent's guard here and however we end up getting into the spot we, uh, we end up in this this knee shield spot here where we're trying to pass, maybe we're knee slicing or something, but this guy is here stopping us from passing. So uh, the first thing we wanna do is bring our pelvis in here and uh, bring our chest in and keep our good posture, high head, high shoulders here. And we're applying our weight right here into this, uh, into his knee shield here. What that does is it makes him feel our weight and he has to start tracking us here and start seeing where we're going and uh, that's, it. That's a whole game within itself here, but the objective of what we want to do here is apply our weight so much here that when we go to stuff his leg out of the way, it kind of, this push-pull tension really just removes the barrier. Um, and so kind of how we're going to do that again, like I said, hips forward, shoulders back, good, uh, good posture, applying our weight here. And then as uh, we're trying to either fold this leg in half to smash, or the feed we're looking for to set up our half guard pass is we're bringing our elbow over to the other side. Um, from there, to secure the position, you're gonna do a few things. You can do a few different options with this, uh, this arm here. Like pinching here at the elbow is a good option. Uh, additionally, if his arm is a little deeper, you can pinch, pinch here on his elbow. Uh, going for a Kimura is also an option if you're up a little higher. Um, and then additionally, Another option is you're having your elbow on his head here and you're scooping it here into your uh, your ribs, which are laying on his face here. So all these positions, again, on the ribs, the Kimura, on his elbow, and on his hip are all pretty good. They're all similar. They're kind of, they're all one and the same, but uh, they're just a little different with a little, uh, a little options. But for right now, we're just kind of going over to the overall position, so. So once we've already gotten into our uh, reverse half guard position here, we're switched onto our hips. We've got our elbow pinching. Uh, the next detail I just want to kind of show is that uh, I here with my leg, I'm keeping this leg wide and I'm on my toes and I'm constantly doing these little foot walks here. I'm constantly trying to widen this base as much as I can and keep my hip low to the mat. What that does is you can see Chris's arm here. As he if he tries to swim it underneath my leg to get the deep half or anything like that, it kind of stops preventing it. It kind of helps prevent him do, doing doing that. It makes it a lot harder on him. So a combination of that and uh, pinching at the ribs or pinching down his elbow uh, and applying your weight as, uh, as it makes this position really hard to escape from. Even if my uh, my partner here on the bottom gets the underhook here and uh, like say I I'm thinking about a Kimura. Uh, if, if he has his underhook super deep, that's a bad idea coming here. I'm committing to this too much and he can bridge into me. But uh, as long as I don't fall for this bait here when he gets his underhook, I'm again, I'm keeping my base wide and I'm here. If he bridges into me from here, see, I just have too much base. I'm too wide. I'm too spread out. But as soon as I start committing to that Kimura, that's when he can bump me over uh, and start using my 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 uh, my weight distribution against me. So again, we're here in our, our knee shield position. Uh, we're gonna go over our first pass from this uh, this half guard spot that we're showing. So as he's putting our pressure in, we're applying our weight. We manage to shove it out of the way, get into a half guard spot. We're widening our base here, pinching at the ribs. First thing we're doing is taking our arm that isn't pinching, and we're gonna grab his toes here. Uh, and then we're gonna stuff his heel to his butt. From what that does is it makes it really hard for him to cross his ankles. Uh, from there, I might actually be able to just back step out pretty easily, but if, uh, if the guy's good or if he has good timing, he might, he's still stuck in there, so you might need to apply a few more details. Uh, from there, once you put the heels to the butt, I like to bring this other arm inside and start stretching him with the half guard leg here and pulling up here. What that does, is it makes him do the splits and it, uh, it makes him really uncomfortable. It makes him want to let us pass. Uh, again, though, if we just go to back step, he might be good and he might track us with this leg. So an extra detail to add, instead of just coming out, we're going to kick our legs straight and then come out. So we're in, in this position, pulling the toes in, switching, splitting them, kick out. 
From there, you're locking your hands around his hips, scooting your hips back, securing your side control position, getting your, uh, your points for the pass. The next pass I'm gonna go over from our uh, half guard spot. Again, we're applying our weight into his knee shield, trying to smash it, pushing it out of the way, dropping our elbow, switching onto our hips, widening our base, doing everything the same. But now instead of uh, reaching in and trying to split them and stuff, we're going to uh, use our elbow here to make space here in between his, uh, his armpit. And we're gonna take the arm that would be grabbing the leg and look to swim our underhook there underneath his arm. From there, as we're swimming, we're switching our other arm over here and kind of just trying to control the position, trying to keep our weight heavy. It's important we don't lift our chest up or start making all this space. We're just going from uh, from this tight positioning here, making the space pummel here. I still haven't moved my lower body at all, but uh, in this transition, I'm gonna look to uh, pin my head and pick up my, uh, my butt here. You can see I'm tripoding, but I still have all my weight in my shoulder here on my uh, opponent's chin and uh, upper body. So I'm here, boom, dropping my, uh, my knee slice, applying the head pressure, and I'm out. All right guys, so that was a really good way to pass the half guard. Uh, anytime you're in half guard, you can actually just switch to that position, but I find uh, like thinking of it off of the knee shield is a really good way to get there. Uh, it's really high percentage. Uh, definitely learn to learn to utilize it or use it in your game because uh, it's, it's a good, it's a, it's a definite part of it. So thanks for watching.